Hey everybody, this is Rachel from Cyber Sports Network. I'm seated next to Wolf Crone, who just took fourth at the Winter Brawl number no. six Street Fighter Arcade Edition tournament, correct? Yes, correct. There's a whole bunch of them going on here, so I just want to make sure I got the right one. Are you also playing in the Marvel tournament? Uh, no, not Marvel, just um, Street Fighter 4. Just Street Fighter 4, and uh, actually, recently you made news when you qualified for the LG Cup in Korea uh, in Street Fighter 4, and unfortunately you weren't able to make it, and I know Marn issued um, some statement on that, but would you like to fill us in on exactly what was the problem? Yeah, I couldn't go, I had exams, and I had a uh, research paper due, and I mean, it was two weeks, and I, I didn't want to risk my grades, you know, for going to a tournament, so I had to make a decision, and I think I made the right one. Yeah, you absolutely got to respect the school commitment. It is important. And uh, did you did you do well on those exams you had to hand in? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Do your do your professors know about your uh, your alternate career as a professional gamer? I'm um, not all of them, no. 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 <laughs> well, uh, now you're you're past that. You're here at Winter Brawl. Um, what did you face in the tournament today? I know there were some recent patch changes uh, not too long ago that kind of affected your character. So did that show up here today at the tournament? Um, it kind of did. I mean, it, <laughs> sorry about this, but um, I, I like I, I guess you can say like it, it didn't because I mean I only lost I lost because I made a mistake. I really didn't. I really don't think it was a character. It was just my mistake. And is that something you think you're gonna be able to work on before final round? Oh, definitely. It was something small that I messed up on. I missed the ultra, and that cost me the game. Usually I don't miss those, but you know in tournaments when there's a lot of pressure, you know things happen. So. Well, I remember reading about you back in the Galaxy for Gamer days where you used to go on that site and you said uh, you got a lot of great practice by playing against opponents there. That's all changed in the past now. Where do you get your practice? Do you usually uh, spar against a certain group of people? or? Um, I usually just play online, play ranked matches to try to um, level up. That's pretty much it. And training mode. Training mode, just practicing combos, setups, and you know, try, trying to find some new technology with my character versus um, new characters. And uh, how involved with you, uh, how involved in like Capcom are you? Do you actually uh, talk to them at all? I know some of your friends, some of your predecessors in the sport, you know, have a lot of contact there. Uh, I want to. I haven't, got, I haven't gotten, gotten contact, contact with them yet, but I would like to, definitely. All right, then I won't plug you for uh, any secret information from Capcom. Uh, is there anything else coming up on the horizon you'd like to share with us? I know you said you're going to final round. Um, I'm assuming you're going to attend all the stops on the road to EVO? Oh, definitely. I plan on making it to... Uh, um, Final round, UFGT. Um, definitely one of the one of the really ones I'm looking forward to is um, Mad Cash Championships in San Diego. That's going to be really good, and of course Evo after that. And uh, who are you looking not forward to, but who are you uh, most worried about facing as uh, you approach Evo and, and especially at the event itself? Mostly just Japanese players, just because they have better high-level players and more, better people to, uh, to play against, so it's harder to fight them because they know, they have more knowledge, you know, um, versus certain characters in the game than U.S. do. Do you have a lot of opportunities to play against uh, Japanese players or European players who come out to these large events? I mean, that's very, very so often. I mean, um, we, we don't get that many, well, last year we did, but we haven't got that many um, this year yet, but um, after, usually after the tournament, sometimes we get a chance to fight, but most of the time everybody's busy and they're trying to, you know, go and grab something to eat or they have something to do. We really don't get a chance to um, really get the games in that we want unless it's at EVO. That's like the biggest game, fighting game tournament where um, we can get casuals in a lot. And I wanted to ask this because Martin's been a friend of mine for a while and I've always been... Um a little skeptical of some of his endeavors, but I think one of the best things he did was pick you up as a player. So how has it been being part of Team Martin? Um, it's been great. Um, I like it so far. I've been able to go to every tournament that I wanted to go to. And I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting, um, sorry, the, the, the Mad Cash deals. I mean, I'm getting the, the Mad Cash products and everything. I really like it. I really, I really like being sponsored. And does Martin take care of you as a person? Is he sort of a, a sweet mama type guy? Definitely, he take, he takes care of me. Um, I like the like the main reason why I like being sponsored is because you know last year I traveled a lot on my own. I wind up you know if I win a tournament, I wind up using that money to get to the next one. I really didn't make that much. So now you know being sponsored by, with mom sponsoring me, I can um I can go to more tournaments and actually save up. You know rather than spend my money that I win to go to the next tournament. Well, that's pretty awesome. Do you have any advice for fighting game players who uh, maybe are looking to get into the sort of deal that you have? 
Um, if, you, if you're looking to get sponsored, the, the best way to go about it is just, um, just, just put in effort. You have to put in effort. You, have to, you actually have to go out and win a few majors. You have to show that you're worthy of being sponsored. And to do that, you have to go out, you know, win your Rambats, win your major tournaments, place in tournaments consistently, and then uh, you'll probably be considered to be sponsored. Awesome. Well, if we want to keep up with you, we want to see how things are going for you and uh, continue to learn from you. Where can we follow you online? Um, you can follow me at on Twitter.com slash Wolfcone or on, on Facebook, Joshua Wolfcone Fieldpot. All right. Thanks so much for talking to us. Good luck on Team Marn, and uh, we'll be cheering on you. Yeah, excuse me. And we will be cheering for you on your road to Evo.